guys, this is Ethan from MotionTutor.com and this is a video lesson on weights. And about weights, we're going to look at things that are heavier than, lighter than, or the same weight. But before I get to that lesson, be sure to visit MotionTutor.com for other video lessons and activities on the website. So let's get to this lesson. So when we say things are heavier than and lighter than, what do we really mean? I'm going to ask my friend Eric to help me with this one. So here is Eric walking and in his way is a big old cow. So now Eric thinks to himself, hmm, I wonder if I can lift this cow out of the way. So, Eric is going to give it a try. And as you can see, Eric is trying his hardest to lift this cow, but he can't even move it at all. This cow is heavy. This is what you will call heavy. Look at him. Look at Eric's face. He can't even move this cow at all. So, let's rewind this thing and try it again. So, here is Eric walking again just minding his own business and what did he see on the ground in front of him a tablet so Eric thinks to himself hmm I wonder if I can pick up this tablet from the ground Eric tries to and guess what success he was able to lift the tablet from off the ground this means the tablet is light Light enough for him to lift up with one hand. So that's just a little illustration of heavier than and lighter than. The cow was heavier than the tablet, and the tablet was lighter than the cow. In front of me is a balance scale. And on this scale, I have these two platforms over here where I will put objects on. And here's this needle in the middle that will point to the heaviest object I put on these platforms over here. So using this scale, I will be comparing objects to see which one's heavier than the other and which one's lighter than the other, and also if they're the same weight. So first objects I'll be using will be some books. and a pencil now according to this scale we see that the books are heavier than this one pencil because the books are lower on the scale the pencil is higher up like a seesaw and this needle is pointing over towards the heavier object which are the books so the way this scale is tilted this way tells us that the books are the heavier objects. So the books are heavier than the pencil. And in other words, the pencil is lighter than the books. Let's try something else. I have a rock. and a piece of paper and as you can see the scale is leaning over towards the rock side because the rock is so much heavier than the piece of paper so the rock is heavier than the piece of paper or in other words the paper is lighter than the rock let's try this leaf and this basketball as you can see the scale is showing that the basketball is heavier than the leaf therefore the basketball is heavier than the leaf and in other words the leaf is lighter than the basketball now what if I just remove this leaf and I get another basketball as you can see, the scale is balanced 
it's even it's side by side both objects are the same exact thing so they weigh the same neither one is heavier than the other this one isn't heavier than the other thing and this one isn't lighter than the other thing they are the same weight all right let's try this nice cute bunny rabbit and um this pig now you can see that this pig is way heavier than this rabbit oh. because the scale is just tipped huh? over on this side and the needles oh. pointing over to the heavier object so yes this big pig hey is heavier than the rabbit or the rabbit is lighter than the pig and I want to try one more thing. I'll remove this rabbit. And let me see my weight. What? With this pig. Um, I guess this pig is also heavier than me. I can't seem to make the scale tip over on my side. So yes, this pig is really heavy. Hey. And definitely heavier than me. Therefore, I'm lighter than this pig. Anyway, that's all I have for now. Until the next lesson, goodbye.